prosecutors in Arizona have decided not to press charges against a woman who was at least partially responsible for setting the biggest wildfire in the state's history. Melinda Elliott has been, had been lost on a reservation when she started a fire to signal for help. It quickly grew out of control and eventually merged with another blaze that destroyed some 500 homes and scorched a half million acres before it was contained earlier this month. Belinda Elliott's here with her attorney this morning, David Cantor. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Belinda, you were with your boss yes. uh, one afternoon on your way to repair some vending machines when you got lost out on the reservation. Tell me why initially you thought to start a fire. To get off the mountain, to get saved. Uh -oh. It's hard to describe, you know, the feelings that you're going through when you're lost out there. How, how long were you lost and what were your conditions out there? Three days, no food, no water for that length. I was tired, my feet were cut up, my legs were cut up. I couldn't walk no more. I'm scared. And so you decided to do what? I decided to start a little signal fire to get a helicopter's attention. And how did you do that? How did you start the fire? I took my lighter and started a little bush right next to the rock I slept on. And I slid down the mountain and went to an open area where they could see me. Who's they? The two helicopter father and son crew from Channel 5. So there was a helicopter circling ahead. Yes. You realized you were lost. You had been lost for almost three days. And you wanted to signal them above. So you lit the fire. And what happened? It took them maybe three seconds later. Three to five seconds later, they were already on the ground to pick me up. They landed? Yes. And how big was the fire at that point? It was just a little smoke signal fire. The size it's, of a bush? No, just a little, probably no bigger than that. It was very small, very small. So the helicopter landed, they picked you up? Yes. And did you tell them there's a, there's a fire down there, or did you just, you thought it was so small you weren't worried about it? Well, they said, did you know there was a, a fire up there? And I said it was just a little signal fire to get your attention. We're looking at video of you that that crew shot yes. right before they took you away. So they took you, and what happened then? They took me to Payson Medical, and I went in, they observed me and everything, and then they went back for their equipment. Did you think at the time, Valinda, that the conditions were so dry that maybe starting a fire wouldn't be a good idea? It was never my intent for it to get out of control, never. I mean, that's not, that was far from my mind. And I'm really sorry, you know, I would never meant for that to happen, never. At what point were authorities called to come and, and put out the fire that after a couple of hours clearly had gotten out of control? No, the news copter helicopter immediately called them in, called it in immediately when they picked me up. And when you heard that your fire had met up with the rodeo fire nearby, to create the biggest fire in Arizona history. What was your response? I just could not believe it. I was so emotional. There was just no way I could have, a little signal fire could have done that. I just could not believe it. And the fact that 500 homes were destroyed, thousands and thousands of people were evacuated. And I'm so sorry that they were, and I feel for them, and I'm sorry they lost their homes. I had no intent whatsoever to do that. Never. How have you been received back in your community back home since this happened? I've had a lot of support, a lot of support from my friends and family, but other people, just, they don't understand. But there are a lot of people that say you should still be held, be held criminally responsible for what happened that day. Um, I really can't, I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm sorry that they feel that way. Mr. Cantor, the fact that the Arizona Attorney General's office has decided not to press charges, did you expect that they were coming? Um, we expected they would not press charges. The U.S. Attorney's Office and the FBI, we had cooperated fully. Um, she had gone without water at one point for 27 hours, and the Arizona terrain is very unforgiving. Uh, she wouldn't have lasted the rest of the day, and if it wasn't for your CBS affiliate and their helicopter, she'd be dead right now. What would you say to those people who lost their homes, Belinda? I'm so sorry. I am. I never intended it to be that way. Never.
I appreciate you being here today. Thank, Thank you, you and good luck to you. Belinda Elliott and David Cantor. Thank okay. you. Thanks so much.